Well, hello there, everyone. You know, like, welcome back to the you missed opportunities. And uh, this uh, your activity right here it talks about a few uh, painting sketches I went and put together using Photoshop. But uh, you see right here, then you talk about for special effects. And uh, you know, if anybody were warrant to where that, that you know, yeah, that uh, a few other activities I was thinking about using later on. But if anything, I can go ahead and uh, update those on my Behance page. But uh, you know, for you know any further more of my activities, that uh, I'll be sure to be posting those on my Behance page later on on my portfolio. But you see right here is uh, I went and include right here. I talk about for special effects. And I was also thinking about if I want to go ahead and call this activity uh, graphic effects or maybe pencil like you know effects uh, you know using the digital effect you know using the, the the you know illustration program right here and uh, for like any source of a, of a effects that uh, I will be able to apply on some of of uh, the documents that I'm working on here and um, this of course originally uh, is a drawing that I went ahead and worked on uh, you know, using pencil right here and then I did some editing in Photoshop. So what are ways of how we can describe special effects? And let's just say if we were to be using this on money and I know that uh, that you know from a picture from about you know a year ago that I was using this experiment right here for money. And uh, if you want to so I say yeah that, uh, that this is kind of like what it looks like Whenever we apply, you know, for on special effects on any uh, photographs about money, though, and uh, if anybody warns us to whenever we do the count the mathematical, if it's going to be long division and then subtraction, that um, anything about points and credits worth is it that that uh, do we this? So you think about us to where? Oh, okay, just experiment around with the tools, and then for the different you know sp different effects, after effects that you can do using the program. And um, I just really think, though, that, yeah, that, you know, is it really just something uh, just for something you'll know, learn to experiment around with or that if you're just trying to do something such as uh, it's not really made to cheat or if it'll allow you to where that you can go ahead and get it by with it, you know, doing anything which you call, yet, uh, you know, anything uh, for it which you call against the rule or something like that. But, um, but still, though, that... Uh, that you see right here is that uh, I uh, knew no Photoshop work right here that I use illustration for this, but this right here that uh, I want to mention anybody that is toward that yeah that you have right here is that this right here will be a picture right here of like a, a you know about the see here about sixty uh, seventy dollars right here. So let's just say that uh, if I were to zoom in a little bit right here, and um, nowadays it seems like you know even on a on a credit card or any source of gift card, and uh, we weren't to where that you know yeah that we may see uh, a lot of, you know we probably seen the cash dollar bills quite a few times, especially on fifty dollars and especially on uh, yeah I, I guess uh, Jackson Madison I think uh, who's on uh, the twenty dollar bill here, but uh, anyway, um, but if we were really to look at the money right here and think about us toward it, yeah that. Uh, that you know, if we were to apply any sorts of special effects to the money right here, and um, I could probably say that you know, just to kind of experiment, you know, just to see how it looks like whenever you add this after effect to it, but just to kind of keep on remembrance too, is to where that um, that even though uh, whenever the money is spent and then whenever you're trying to save up for something else, and uh, just to kind of get you something, you know, get you something creative to do, uh, you know, other than it's like until that until you're paid a certain amount of money, then then uh, you can go ahead and uh, and uh, maybe just do some uh, what you call experiment around you know, on a PC or on a Mac about the you know, for ways of how you can visual money for what it looks like. And I know one one thing that maybe anybody would more likely think is to where that yeah that uh, that you know for anything about which call a designer though is that uh, that for what you think. That the spending money is going to be looking like maybe within the next five years or so into the future. So let's just say that yeah, that um, this right here will be like an example right here of like if you had cash on hand or something like that. And yeah, right here is the the money details right here. And uh, I could zoom in a little bit more on the face right here, but um, but you see right here is a uh, yeah that uh, add you know, some little After Effects and. And I can tell anybody here that if we zoom in close enough right here, um, like it looks a little bit like, I don't know if we want to call it like uh, anything uh, related to, um, you know, 
a different kind of, of style, a different type of paper. And I know when we add uh, any sort of, uh, of effects you know, to, uh, to the photo, a photo may look like just like any order, ordinary photo. Maybe, that, maybe it's too light and too dark, but then whenever we add uh, some of these after effects, you know, it may uh, what you call give you a different vision. And uh, it seems like a lot of times for what we call special effects, is to where if it's supposed to give you a different vision of uh, you know a number of things if you take a picture of uh, of a few things and I'm sure most of us with digital technology that uh, that you would take on even on our phones that uh, we would take a picture of something and let's just say if we were to try to open it up with Photoshop or Illustrator that uh, we would see a uh, you know a different you know things that we can do with like the effects uh, you know settings and uh, you give it like a setting it like uh, you're changing it like if you want to give it like a, gra a graphic or watercolor effect or something like that. But if we look very closely right here that um, you know on a $20 bill right here and um, think about this to where that uh, for ways of uh, you say for talking about you know, for how special effects can be used for the money in the near future. So let's just say that uh, if they're going to have a material kind of like this right here, we see it on a computer. But let's just say if we start seeing it print off, maybe at the United at the U.S. Treasury, and uh, let's just say that um, if it's supposed to have like maybe a little bit of a 3D effect, but something to where that uh, it's uh, yeah, the way it's designed is to where it's it's not so uh, easily uh, damaged. You know, like you know those. Uh, Original dollar bills that most of us have seen you know, from the bills from before is to where that um, that they're that they've been folded and taken in and out of the pocket of the purse a number of times to where that they really start getting wrinkly and have a few tear marks on it and stuff. But uh, still, that uh, the source of materials that we would maybe see in the in the next uh, five years about what we call for cash dollars and as well as for the twenty dollar bills. And then for the $50 bills, and maybe for the $100 bills, and maybe for the $1,000 bill. And uh, most of us would have like a credit card visa, but uh, still, that uh, due to studies about math here, and uh, if anybody warns us that, uh, yeah, about how many times it took you just to be able to memorize the times tables, and then uh, just to, which you call figure out about, okay, five divided by, or something like that, and then uh, maybe, uh, you know, about the tens and then the fives, but. Um, Still, get the basic idea about as toward it that which uh, coins and which dollar bills were worth more, and uh, so let's just say that uh, adding this this effect right here, and uh, and I know that uh, that uh, for your original uh, twenty dollar bill, that uh, if most of us uh, who uh, grew up from back in the nine back in the nineteen nineties that uh, that they remember about what it looked like from back then. Uh, that you know, since now that they they you know change the designs and then uh, so you know, other source of uh, of data as well and um, so it's like this type of bias to where if they're gonna have anything about you know money that uses any source of digital program and digital software and let's just say that um, you know I don't know if they're gonna have anything like this in the near future to where that a uh, designer is to where that you know yeah if you want to go ahead and, uh, and a workforce tour that uh, you'll be what's called in charge of uh, of uh, keeping our men, our investment our money protected and then uh, they would uh, have you you know to where you'll be working with uh, the money the printed money before it comes to the actual manufacturer printed and uh, they would have a, a designer in charge of uh, you giving it what you call that uh, that effect look on uh, on the actual dollar bill before it's actually uh, made you know at the you know, at the treasury but uh, still I mean those are just what you call thoughts and I know like with anybody that if we look at this carefully too I don't know if anybody can see this but this may be pixels right here but um, the way I have uh, changed this effect right here makes it look like maybe at the dollar bill had any sort of language you you know, just little uh, writings of different language that you know that's placed uh, on the twenty dollar bill and I don't think that that's really what it is, but let's just say that, uh, that yeah, that, uh, yeah, that this is uh, just maybe for some extra security or something like that, extra security. 
that uh, they would uh, print uh, something like going sideways uh, on, uh, I guess if that's uh, Jackson or you know, Franklin, I think uh, besides Grant, you who be on like a $50 bill, but but most of us who've had seen $20 bills before, and then if you had about maybe a stack of five of them all together, about maybe $60 or $70, and you may have had it in cash at one time, and just think about it as to where most money, whenever it's spent, and it seems like that that's the only thing that you really know how to do with it. You know, you, and if anybody were to say that, yeah, that uh, with art or if it's anything about using digital software. If we were to think about this, is toward it. Uh, if we were to take a picture of the money and as you know, give it like maybe a special effect, you know, type, you know, look to it, and then just think about it as to where it's kind of an experiment to where that um, if you leave it underneath the sunlight for a long period of time, long period of time, and that what you know, it's like say that you will put it underneath the sunlight for several hours, see what happens, and so it seems like as to where that. Uh, Anything that does happen with that with the picture, of course, anybody say, yeah, picture's a picture. You know, picture's a picture. That ain't money, but still, that uh, anybody say that, yeah, whenever it's it's all torn up or maybe busted or something like that, and uh, you know, yeah, you know, what you do with the picture if you change the the ISO readings or anything like that, this is basically what you come up with. And uh, if anybody warns us toward it, uh, what is visible? Uh, from, I say, for the artist. It's like whatever the artist finds out about you know, the money here. So if we were to actually do that, the research about American history right here, and anybody that may say is to a picture's a picture. You know, picture don't really prove anything, but um, still, these are your know, pictures that uh, this is a picture I took about a year ago. So if anybody wants us to it, uh, that uh, you, know, you may know how to spend the money, but then. Uh, on your hand that uh, just uh, taking a picture like that and then uh, you're going to keep it around on your special on your on your system and then uh, thinking this tour oh okay well <laughs> but still that uh, you know, what source of allowance do you think that you'll be able to get with that it's like your special effects yeah well I was just experimenting around with this or that and but still that uh, there are what you call if you want to call it like a uh, you know many of a uh, of interesting, uh, if you want to call it, you know, you know topic. I guess um, how should I describe it is to where that um, that you know, you know you don't you know things that come up later on and you don't realize it. You you take a picture of something and you don't realize what you see. Uh, you know, after later on after you take a picture or maybe you find something, you know, in your in your suitcase that uh, somebody else may find interesting later on, and. Uh, it may not be called special effects necessarily, but let's just say if it's a special moment, you know, what you call that that certain moment to where they, yeah, missed opportunities and for any credits, but um but still that uh, you see right here is I included right here, like you have right here is for job interview uh, right here. Most of us have seen you for the missed opportunities, but this one right here talk about for credits though. And I want to go ahead and add this right here. I talk about with money though, because that I know that most students, you know, after they graduate and then uh, just think about getting enough money together just to be able to pay back, you know, on, on any finances. But um, if anybody has ever thought about that, is to where that uh, if there is going to be still, uh, you know, being a pain, uh, you know, just to be able to have access to the creative cloud, and then uh, they may warrant toward it. Um, still have access to Adobe, uh, you know, Illustrator, and um, they see the a photo that they took about. You know, a year ago, and um, they uh, they find it, and then uh, they keep thinking about it toward it. Uh, you know, okay, do you want to go and open it up in Photoshop or maybe InDesign and see what happens if you want to go in and uh, make it bigger or smaller? And um, so just think about it toward when we take a picture or something, and uh, and uh, you're like, well, you know, <laughs> you took a picture of it, I guess, just to kind of. Get you an idea about you know for yeah you had about seventy dollars at one time in cash but then uh, you spent it already and so if the, if anybody were to say that uh, you know whenever you spend it that means it's gone like a well gone gone like a well it's not gone gone forever it's not gone gone bye bye to you know, for a very long time is it but still if anybody were to ask that is it you know it's well it's gone it's already been spent but still that. Uh, that uh, I guess uh, we can kind of cause to where I guess basically what I'm saying is to where that even though it, the money is spent and just kind of keep this on what you call, you know, for like a, 
experience reminder, if you want to call it like this, like a reminder to where that, uh, you know, whenever that, you know, it was great that you were paid at maybe a grant or it was, it's great that you were paid a little extra from your tax return. But one thing we can also realize is to where that, uh, you know, it, it may not be very long, you know, we had to wait, you know, maybe, uh, maybe three or four months, maybe five months or something like that, maybe close to a year or something like that. You know, if we're going to be getting paid uh, a little bit more, and um, when you come up to those opportunities, as to where that, uh, you know, really, I'm like, you know, that um, you may find a check in the mail that maybe you uh, don't expect you know, during a time, and sometimes it's like if anybody warns us toward that, uh, you come up to those moments as to where that uh, the opportunity is that. Uh, you know, oh, okay, well, I got this. Well, I don't know where it came from, but I got this. And so sometimes if you're going to be showing any employers, maybe uh, talk to them, maybe uh, you know, on the email, and then uh, they may ask you about where did you get this. I'm like, well, that was what I was wondering, too, uh, where did I get this? Because, you know, uh, I found it in the file here, or maybe if it was anything, it was received to me by email. And I always thought that it was a mistake because, you know, uh, Sometimes whenever you get something in the mail that uh, you were like, oh, okay, well, I thought I already got this. I don't know why I'm getting it again. So let's just say that uh, we may think that anything that we do or anything that we may get by email or in the mail, if it's going to be maybe a refund or if it's a check or anything about maybe gift card or something like that, and and uh, you may think, assume it's, to where it's a mistake, well, you're going to go ahead and call and contact that the number like that's provided in uh so other, other source of concerns as well. So if anybody will warrant to where that you know, think about your about credits though. And um so you have right here is like top about for special effects, but credits and special effects, but um but you know the source of special effects that like a designer would likely describe is to where that if anybody were to be asking about is to where that how do we describe special effects? Special effects are they basically is toward it that the effects for whatever that the person maybe if it's a filmmaker or maybe if it's a professional artist or so something that they are able to do that they are able to represent to their audiences and um, and I know that with most filmmakers and you know anything as such as for digital software and as well as anything about what you call graphic effects and special effects basically that that you're the top of effects. That you know, a lot of the, uh, the audiences would be able to see based on uh, from uh, what this professional uh, your designer was able to uh, succeed in. So anything that they were able to manage and uh, anything that uh, that they were able to uh, to use by their own time that that they were able to show it to their audiences. And um, so it seems like as to where that uh, that yeah that. Uh, Special effects would be what you call most popular, and sometimes you're like Warren Tour that you know would this option be available on email? And uh, I don't know if anybody will probably say if it's recommended because that uh, you know, maybe the email may be hard to read if there was any special effects added to it, any watercolor effects or maybe sketch a graphic sketch effects or something like that. That well, we're not talking about that. Something is to okay. If you're getting tired of seeing uh, that plain black and white, you know, copyright that uh, document of yours, you can go ahead and add some special effects to it, just to kind of see what it does. And uh, if anybody wants this toward it, really, I'm like, if you're that curious and knowing about that, uh, having access to the program and you uh, have access to uh, the variety of tools, and you want to go ahead and give something a special effect, and um, really that. Um, if anybody wants this tour, that uh, if you want to see change bad enough, but still, that uh, this right here, of course, is a drawing right here, and then I have looked at a number of these in black and white. So if anybody wants this tour, that uh, you know, if you're going to be drawing this and sketching this and and give it like a black and white, you know, type of you know graphic right here, and uh, you know, the special effects that could not even contain color, but then it says they may say is towards still good because. You know that a lot of the freehand work, if it's in between the lines, and I know that some of this Photoshop work right here, but still that uh, that for how it is, and then for anything that represents any sort of theme or some sort. So a number of ways of how we can describe special effects, 
But uh, really, I'm like, the question may go by is toward, do you want to use it on your credit card? I'm like, if you're mad enough, <laughs> if I say that, yeah, if it makes you feel any better, do you want to go ahead and use that on a, on a credit card or on a bill or some sort? And uh, you're warned toward, why would you even want to do that? You know, why would you even want to do that on an insurance card? You want to scan your insurance card or something, a business card, and you know, add any source of special effect to it, just to see if it's still readable, or maybe if you want to, you know, you want to see what it looks like if you add the watercolor effect to it or something. But um, really, that um, I would um, really how you know, if anybody were warranted toward it, uh, anything about special effects though, that. Um, if it's anything about is toward it, uh, for any sort of license and your know, missed opportunities that uh, we would probably say is toward it, uh, while that we have access to these programs, that uh, the question could remain is toward why did you add that to that, that whenever it wasn't required, wasn't necessary? Oh, okay, well, you added that to the PDF document, well, why? Like, and then, um, so they may say, you know, and you have these options right here, and I can have. Uh, Maybe uh, if I could go ahead and, um, and I don't know if I can uh, see here. No, nope. but then you know on the top of toolbar you see right, I can see right here is like you know, for an embed you know, for edit original. So so you have these uh, an Illustrator on the top of uh, of the control panel right here. I'm getting these uh, different options right here, which I don't think anybody really can't see that on my screen here. But anyway, uh, but you see right here is that. Uh, with adding the special effects and um, so if we're going to give uh, this uh, picture right here of like any source of special effects and so just think about it to where that, uh, that you know uh, from the original file you know, from the original picture and then giving it you know, with that, that after effect and and like with anybody that may say is toward it uh, you're going to be opening up your pictures using about maybe three different programs including like a uh, Adobe file Adobe Fireworks and then uh, maybe the you know an, uh, the other program and uh, really that uh, they may say is to where it's amazing there's so much you can do it's incredible but uh, still though that um, I would uh, really recommend anybody doing that to, you know maybe if it's what you call it's going to improve uh, for anything about what you call it, maybe exploring the te new technology for the future and then uh, if anybody were warrant toward it if anybody were to have it be absolutely curious about is to where any maybe any missed opportunities and uh if i were to probably say is to where just to get people to talk to me and i may say that hey i hey this is me right here this is what i figured out here i i had some some special effects right here to the money right here and then I'm even a, I even that you know it's like a, I you know with my credit card right here that this is a new source of tool that I figured out about is to where that uh, you know for the new style for the money in the next five years or something like that and uh, so I know with any special effects that they can maybe allow you to do a number of things you know on your computer and uh, just maybe not everybody knows how to use it and uh, you know like we say is to where that if you uh, were to be showing your parents this stuff and they may say is toward it and then uh, I say that you know they're gonna be uh, you know spending it maybe five hours or so even on a weekend just to just to kind of experiment around with the tools and um, if anybody were to say well believe me if you if you show somebody else about how to use the tools and uh, they may uh, want to do something and uh, maybe do something that's not really called for but still that uh, I guess the main objective would be is to where like the missed opportunity is to a number of things that they missed and they may say hey I have every right to get into that program and just to see uh, a little bit about what you do because really that uh, they may say is to where that I'm really just concerned in the matter and so there may be a number of, uh, of moments of what we call for missed opportunities for special effects as well as for credits though and uh, like with anybody, you know, like, you know, do we really need to explain to anybody about you know, why uh, we want to go ahead uh, and uh, what you call, you know, uh, experiment around with something. You want to change the color to a credit card or to a gift card or maybe that you want to go ahead and get some uh, get some practice uh, with something. And um, so you clicked a few buttons and then that did uh, that changed a little bit of the after effects or something like that. Uh, so a number of things that we can do with uh, with these programs right here, and uh, 
but still that uh, that uh, I just really think though is to where the whole purpose about with special effects though is to where what the artist sees and what they were willing to share with the audiences. So you have right here this if I were the artist and let's just say the audience, the audience wants to see something else and uh, in order to see something that's something else that they go ahead and uh, you know if they were to have access to the Adobe program and then they may ask us to where hey that uh, you know can you share that same skill with me you know hey uh, where are those files I want to try that myself you know since I have access to the Adobe uh, program even from my own uh, PC or you know something like that you know from my own personal computer and uh, so that's just the thing that uh, if anybody will warrant to where that uh, you know whoever that started at this whole web you know this whole situation about you know, for missed opportunities huh <laughs> and think about it as to where really that um, same thing that goes as to where that uh, yeah for who taught you how to say the bad word huh <laughs> and if and I don't know if, if any if anybody were asked me as to where that uh, you know could you teach somebody uh, the meaning of you know bad language could you know like I say if any kids were to say is to where yeah you know you if you want to go ahead and give somebody the dirty look right here you know could you know, could you give like a, a picture like just like this just like this right here could you get this picture right here like a theme or some sort to where if you got mad at somebody to the point where you want to go ahead and, and maybe mention like a bad uh, like a symbol right here that represent you know, for a bad word or something like that <laughs> and uh if anybody were got mad enough, then they may, may say something like, such as to her, that, uh, you know, listen, you know, like an app, uh, you know, it's, they would maybe say something such as a, a bad word or maybe bad comment on there, and then they would give it like what you call a different color, and um, maybe that uh, they would uh, do something else uh, with, uh, with the picture also, and I, I don't know if I really want to talk about that something else really, but, uh, but still that, uh, that if anybody were to say that you know, could art represent you know, the you know, the emotional feeling to where that when somebody got mad this is what they did they they left a few blob spots on the, on the picture they left a few blob spots on the picture and they basically said as to where that you know you're not my friend anymore or something like that yeah you're not my friend anymore and then they go ahead and include like a few blob spots right here in different colors and uh, so. If anybody warns us to where, yeah, you write uh, a letter, you know, maybe to somebody, you know, if you got mad and you, but still, that uh, if anybody warns us to where, that uh, really, that uh, artwork, has artwork come that far to the point to where if anybody were to say is to where how to express their feelings, that they draw a picture and then they want to go ahead and use the illustration program right here to include something like, you're not my friend anymore, and then they go ahead and include a few blob spots and and then uh, they say something, and like, uh, and then later on they apologize. Well, I'm sorry, I was mad earlier, and uh, I just wanted something to get your attention by, or something like that. But um, really, that. But so far, it's like for anything about which called missed opportunities. And uh, we're going to get mad, yeah, but still, that uh, that for anything about what we can use uh, designing software for, for digital software for, and. Um, I just really think though that uh, people may say is that uh, you know, have fun with it or something like that but uh, still though that uh, anything about uh, you know understand the, the purpose of it is that uh, that you know uh, allowing your creative mind to do uh, you know, just a variety for what other people want to see especially that's the main purpose about what I think about is to where that you know, those who don't know too much about this, these programs and from what a designer had learned and what you would want to share with them, I think it's just the main focus. It's not really about cheating and not really about, oh, okay, well, you know, you were just you were just messing around with this with the programs. You were just clicking a few buttons or some sort and you'll you're trying to figure it out. But still that uh, uh, for like a professional artist, they would highly recommend this toward it. Really, please explain the situation for what's going on as of right now. You want to draw a picture right here, and then for credits for what you earned, and then for anything about missed opportunities. And uh, the first thing I do want to talk about was an email, and then maybe the special effects. And if anybody will warrant, or what could be maybe the next thing that you want to talk about based on missed opportunities. 
and uh, you know that that other opportunity would be is toward it whenever you get a job and think about is toward it uh, that yeah the company mailed you a gift that uh, you're going to talk about later on but uh, anyway um, but talk about right here like if the company were to mail you a gift or like you know for this coming year's tax return but uh, still but talk about for special effects and um, just think about this right here will be like we say it's like a a picture that I took with money right here but you know if we were to know about this about working the math right here do we all have access to this whenever we were in the fourth grade or maybe in the second grade <laughs> and uh, since I was young that uh, I can remember that playing those those computer games at the school and uh, if anybody will want to tour that uh, if this is supposed to be what you call like April Fool's joke or something like that but still that uh, that uh, anything about money though that uh, that you know you want to go ahead what you call that uh, if you want to go ahead like if anybody I don't know if anybody has tried it but uh, if you want to set some uh, you know something that looks like money on the table right there and then uh, by the time that they that they try to grab it, it's like April Fool's <laughs> but um, Really, you know, how could anybody, how could you trick anybody by pretending that there's money, you know, sitting around on a table or something? And uh, think about it as to where the, yeah, well, money, but then on the back of it, it could maybe represent as to where that, yeah, don't don't forget to refill your service card or something like that. But still, that uh, anything, anybody that maybe think about any creative things, any creative reminders that you want to give uh, to somebody and, uh, include maybe a picture on the front or maybe just send them an email or something but still that uh, you know it could, you know if you want to go ahead and add it maybe some special effects or doing like you know, any character effects and and I know like a you know other programs that I know you know animation which I don't have that you know that I know of that I I would probably check into that maybe later on maybe in the spring but uh, character effects that uh, if you want to go ahead and maybe uh, you know, you, you know, add some character effects you to your artwork, especially is toward it, uh, teaching ourselves the basic skills about is toward it, uh, you know, anything about a character, a certain character that you want to use also, and then uh, showing the audiences, anybody who's looking, and uh, thank you is toward it, yeah. Okay, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you know, you need to demand your money, and um, this is what you need to do, and the basic instructions about how this works, and so that's just the thing about his tour that uh, talk about for missed opportunities. And um, so like with anybody that, uh, you know, maybe not everybody is going to miss everything. Uh, you know, it's like if they uh, were aware of everything, but still that uh, for anything about missed opportunities, if it's really worth uh, getting really mad and frustrated about or if it's all about his tour, yeah, talk about for special effects as to where how other people look at your work especially. And with me though, that... Uh, this right here is a drawing right here, and I know a lot of uh, uh, the students you know, from back in the 1980s were pretty impressed with my freehand work. And just think about us toward it, um, that uh, one of the things that they would maybe want to spend a little bit more time for what I do is maybe checking into the tools and then the special effects that they can do uh, for like, you know, show me how this works. And, and I know back in those days that they called it magic, and I guess if you want to call it special effects, for what uh, a designer does and uh, that's you know magic I guess if you want to call it magic to where if other people can see it well that's incredible but uh, still if you're the only one who sees it and chances are that you're going to have other people they're going to ask your request to see that uh, you know the, that what you call those tricks is such as hey voila you know they're like uh, that if, you, if you're not very happy with the picture that you took we'll see what we can do by opening up in Photoshop but uh, still anyway um, but thanks for watching everyone. Talk about for missed opportunities here you know, for special effects. You know, Matthew like talking and uh, say for digital designing. And thanks and have a great day.